Bakes Wham. Uh, my excited is excited, my friend and legend, uh, the Howard Hewitt is here legend. today. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I gotta look, look around. I gotta say that to you, but when they say that to me, I'll be looking around. Know, what? What, what does that mean? Legend. That means influence. Okay. Right yeah, now, okay. you're influencing the influence. All right, Welcome all right, to all right. St. Louis, man. Thank you, man. man, here, man. We, we, well, I've been looking forward yeah. to talking with you, man. Definitely. Uh, trying to keep up with go what's going on in yeah. Howard Hewitt's life. And, uh, you, you sound as good today as you did oh, man. Uh, Thank you. a few days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. Uh, you had a few Thank little you. Oh, man. <laughs> things. Yeah, man. Play. I, I always <laughs> try to. I, I try uh, since I had this done because you know is is um I try to think of a of a good you know exciting thing you know like a ski. I had a ski fall maybe or. <laughs> There's four guys jumped oh, on me. Well, okay, but you're not. And you should see them. This is all I got. <laughs> well, uh, 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 I know you had And I got my game. You got your friend here, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. But no, I had a, I had a, I, you know, I had a bunion on my foot, man, on my right foot. It popped up like about a year and a half or so ago, and and um, man, I, it, about ten months ago, ten, eleven months ago, it started kind of hurt giving you problems and I'm walking through all these airports around the world and I go past a corridor where like maybe Starbucks is down there and I accidentally pass it and then I next thing I know now how bad do I really, really want, want that <laughs> cup of coffee so I said man when it gets like that I gotta get it well, taken care of so you're on tour yeah. what you doing I'm all, always, always on tour busy. man I, I, I you know I cleared out uh the month of January just just to deal with this and after, you know, and, and, and I tell my manager all the time, I say, hey man, you know, I need to take a couple weeks off, three weeks off, whatever, but I always end up working. But I think that, that this was the only way I would really slow you down, slow me right, down yeah. for a minute. And, um, and so, you know, we, we cleared everything out of, uh, my last show uh, was last year, it was, it was in the last year, uh, the 21st in, in Durban, South Africa. And, um, and then I was off from that time uh, until uh, February 7th, I think, was, wow. the, was the gig back, was the first gig back. Back in the States. Right? And everything, yeah, yeah here in, it was in um, uh, Florida or somewhere, I forget where it was. But, you say you've been busy, man. That's, that's good, because I know guys, hey, I wish, I wish I, they were working right Listen, <laughs> Bishop, I am not complaining. <laughs> right. don't, don't get me wrong. I am not complaining. Well, that's a good thing, man. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know but, but, but God has blessed me so, so <laughs> seriously through, I mean, this, this busy, you, you see how busy it is now because of social media right. and all, but it's been that way forever for yeah. like for yeah. years and years and years. I, I, work, you know, thank God has never been, uh, uh, something that was, you know, like, oh man, I gotta get a gig. I, you know, it's, right. it's, yeah. I've always been blessed. God make sure that you're eating, man. Oh man, yeah. and he, he makes, he makes, what does it say, makes provision for your vision. Yes, sir. Well, you know. I, I, I can feel those gospel roots. We're going to talk about oh, yeah. that later on. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, one yeah. of my favorites is that, that gospel album. Oh, man. The Journey. Oh, man. Let's talk about a little bit about that. Let's, let's a little bit about The Journey. The Journey was, you know, I mean, I, I always call it, I, I, I used to call it my uh, Jonah Syndrome, where I was running away from it for a right. long okay. time, you know. Because I started out in gospel, mm. you know, and um, my mom was a, was a, a professional gospel promoter in the Akron Canton, mm. Cleveland, Ohio area. And I mean, she she brought everybody in from James Cleveland, to Albertina, uh, Albertina Walker, the Caravans, Pilgrim to the Belize, you name Bowling, Bowling you know them, you call them the Roll Call. You know, yeah. all, you know yeah. all those, all those. I mean, it was like, I got you, um, I got you guys. Okay. It was, uh, it was, yeah, just in because and I think I'm he's, he's, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, don't everybody go out and order them a, a, a Howard Hewitt cane. <laughs> we'll see them on the internet. <laughs> on the internet and stuff. Yeah, I, I want to cut. <laughs> you know, I was good right in. But, uh, but she brought everybody in from there. And, and, and when I was about 10, 11 years old, um, the you know, she put together the Hewitt singers, myself mm. and, and my sisters and stuff. And, and so, you know, once nepotism was alive and well in our family, so once the group was in shape enough to perform, of course, we opened up, you know, show every show that she brought in. So 
I so uh, cut my teeth, so to speak, on on people like James Cleveland and you know Bill Moss and the Celestials and all those people. And I, you know, yeah. what I mean, just amazing, amazing, <laughs> man. I'm, I'm a foundation captain. You know, I believe that if you build a strong foundation, anything can stand on a strong foundation. Back in the day when they used to build houses and stuff in my neighborhood, the neighborhood I grew up in in Ohio, they would take forever on the foundation. The foundation with the cement and the, and the, the steel and, and all that kind of stuff, it would take forever for them to do the foundation. But once the foundation was done, the house went up like that, you know, and then, you know, and that house stays sturdy. And, you know, philosophically, you could tear that house down and build another house on that if the, if the foundation is strong enough. So I, I believe I believe strongly in a strong foundation and, and the gospel situation, the Akron, Ohio situation back in the day was was perfect. I mean, it was a perfect was a perfect situation as far as like you know uh, my foundation was concerned. So like you know I mean so I wanted to when I went solo you know when I when I. Uh, Finally went so How did feel about that? About that trend? Oh man, let me tell you, let me tell you. Because one mom, you know, it was, cause she also had this this radio broadcast, uh, the Reverend Elvin H. Brown Spiritual Hour. And she was she was eventually uh, inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame Ohio. Uh, in Ohio. And um, and it was like, it was like, um, she, when I went from, from the gospel situation, like I said, I was 10, 11 years old. And when I was 14, 15, I went from the gospel situation into R&B thing. And Bishop, and let me tell you, man, I mean, some of those, some of those church, church people, because the group was really, the Hewitt Singers were really popular group, and especially in that whole area, Chitlin Circuit. Right, down, yeah, down, yeah, down I'm familiar East, with it. West. And so, and, and especially in the, in the Ohio area, and um, I mean, some of those church church folks, they were like, I can't believe Chattelina <laughs> let her boy go and sing the devil music, <laughs> <laughs> you know? And so it got really, it, it after a couple, two or three weeks, it really got, you know, got like crazy. And they were talking, they were talking a bunch of stuff. And then I remember one one Sunday morning, because her, her, her show, her uh, broadcast would come on, every Sunday morning. Uh, for, I think she did like three hours, two, two or three hours, but it, it was called the spiritual hour. And I remember laying in the bed and I would always turn it on Sunday morning. I always turn it on. And she starts talking and they used to call her the lady with the golden voice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, lady with the golden voice, Charlie and Brown, Charlie and Hewitt. And then she got married again with Brown. And, um, uh, she came on and she started talking about all the stuff that people were talking about. Mm. And she said, she said, one thing about it is that I know the foundation that uh, Howard's dad and I uh, uh, laid in him. The foundation. And, and, and it's the foundation of God. And the most, she said, she said something like, she said, the most, the worst thing that he could ever do would not to use would be not to not use the gift that God gave him. And I know that if, what, whatever he does, he's gonna be honoring God. And then she said at the end, and, and if I like it, you all should love it. <laughs> so that's the only thing, that's the last thing I wanna hear. And that was, and it kind of brings tears to my eyes right now because, <laughs> because that was my green light from my mom and from my dad to like, you know, to to do this thing you give. Do the thing, man, and and, and 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 go for it and and just like, you know, that was my thing, that was my grin. And and that was that was again was a part of the foundation of making sure that whatever I did mm -hmm. that it it honored God. Yeah, he, he, I gave you.